cold temperatures continue to linger for us. So what can we expect as we head into Friday? Mary Kay's here with the answer. We want a little thaw and we're not quite getting one, are we? <laughs> All the kids need the layers in the morning. In fact, our weather watchers have noticed the winds have come down, but still there is enough cold air in place that even with minor amounts of wind, it feels like 14 for Terry and Genoa. It feels like 21 for Robin Burbank and Valparaiso. Raymond has 20 for it feels like. Same with Roselle. Terry reporting that for us. And right now we have a 28 degree reading from Nancy in Laporte. Mostly cloudy skies there, but at about 10 to 6, capturing that glorious sunset for us in Laporte. Well, when you wake up in the morning, here's what it'll feel like. 9 in McHenry, 12, a dozen degrees in Aurora, 15 in Joliet, and 15 in Valparaiso. Even by noon, sunshine will help to bring temperatures up just a bit. It's 29 degrees right now. Those winds, as I mentioned, came down westerly at 7 miles per hour. So the wind chill values are in the teens in the western suburbs. We're in the lower 20s at midway for a feels like temperature. And with those winds out of the west and slightly north, Northwest coming over that 38 degree lake. A little lake enhancement here for the snow belts of western Michigan. We had a few flurries in Porter and Laporte County. Those are coming to an end. Of course, the northeast is done with the nor'easter, but still dealing with some wind and leftover snow showers over in that vicinity. Now, for us, it's just going to be partly cloudy and quiet. High pressure moving in for us. And as that high sits overhead, we could see a light lake breeze develop tomorrow. So 39 inland, but right at the shorefront, probably only about 35 degrees for a high temperature. Now, as we watch the weekend storm threat, we are dry and quiet, but the deep south may be dealing with severe weather. And the reason I want to point this out, low pressure will pull over northern Louisiana, step over Atlanta, then what? Well, as it tracks to the east, we look at futurecast and we see these storms erupt Saturday during the afternoon and evening. And then on Sunday, everything's sort of wrapping into a storm center here. And as it steps over the Atlantic, could this be the third nor'easter? Well, one model does take it that way and bring coastal flooding, rain, winds, snow, all of it, all over again. But the European model, model two, pulls it straight out to sea and it bothers no one. So we'll have to watch the storm track tomorrow and see how those come together. Well, daylight saving time begins 2 a.m. Sunday and on Sunday, the Irish Parade, partly cloudy skies. And we'll move those temperatures into the 40s, Robin Erica, early next week, but no signs of measurable precipitation for us at all. And that is the key right mm -hmm. there. We'll even if it's a little colder, we'll take right. it. Right. We're right. getting away with it. Thanks, Mary Kay.